Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing how to submit expenses on Expensify in 2023. So if you want to streamline your expense management process and save time, make sure to stick by and watch this video until the end. So let's dive right into it and let's simply get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, uh, we'll have to go and open whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type expensify.com and hit the enter button. Of course, for you if it's your first time, you will find yourself on the home screen or main screen of the Expensify website. You'll have to scroll down a bit and you'll find down below a login option Click on it so you can log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you will find at the top of it a create account option. You can simply click on it to create your account. Of course, in the left panel of the homepage, you'll even find a four option to even log in or create your account with. Those options will help you create your account or even log in into your account without getting through all the boring steps of logging in or creating your account. Of course, you will find their Google option, uh, Facebook option, uh, not sorry, not Facebook, Apple option, email option, and phone number option. So you can log in or create your account with one of those four options. Once you're logged in or you just created your account, you'll find yourself on kind of the dashboard of Expensify uh, websites or the inbox. Of course, here you will be able to go into Expensive as an example. So as we said, because we would like to create a new expense for ourselves or submit Expensive or expenses. So of course, if you want to do that, go to this left panel and make sure to navigate into expenses right here. Then once you do so, you'll be able to find this new expenses at the top right corner. If you click on it, you'll be able to create a manually uh, create expense, or you can simply use this feature scan receipt. And of course, this feature will let you scan your receipts with your smartphone. As an example, you can upload the picture uh, on your PC and uh, upload it here into the Expensify. Uh, websites and that will fill the expense uh, man automatically so you don't have to fill it manually of course you can get, go for you and add uh, any description you would like to add then or any category so you will be organized and optimized of course you can even uh, create multiple ones or multiple expenses at the same time you can even create a time one or you can go and create a distance manually create or uh, a create from map expense even if you click and create manually one, of course, you'll be able to change this example to distance, time, or multiple from just this option. So let's for example, click on new exp expenses or expense and here click on a manual one. So here we'll have to fill those information as an example. So just fill the necessary information. So as you can see, merchants. So the first uh, uh, section here, that is mandatory. And the second section is just optional for you if you want to organize your work and optimize it as you want so here you'll have to enter the merchant name the date and the total and even you can change the currency from here if you want to you can even as we said use the feature of uh, uploading or scanning the recipient so it's fill it will fill everything automatically for you especially if you want to add a lot of expenses so as an example here let me just go and create one as an example i'm just going to uh, write here for merchant test or Let's just uh, say example, this first one, I'm just going to do random stuff for you, make sure to have everything accurate. And here for the total, I'm just going to do uh, a 1000 example. And here, as we said, we can create categories so we can optimize our work. So the category is an example, there's going to be uh, benefits, why not? Of course, the, atten the attendees, it could be you or other stuff if you have uh, more than one. And this uh, Expensify option for me i don't have uh, any other one than other than me and here you can add any description uh, you can add any other details that you want so you can know what is this expensive of or, or the expenses of or you can as i said add whatever you want as an example i'm just going to add a test and here you can even go and add it to a report if you want so if you have already like made the report you can simply go and add this expense this expense to the reports right away from here or you can simply go and add this uh another time on the report section if you want to. So simply as an example, let's just add it to um, this report, why not? And simply here, you'll be able to upload any documents. As you can see, no documents found, but you can even import from your PC as an example. 
so make sure to go and upload uh, your uh, any necessary document that you have here make sure to upload them and of course you'll be able to add them into your expenses as you can see uh, or as i said you can change the expense from distance to time to multiple as you can see here you'll be able to add multiple expenses at the same time so uh, once you're done with everything you can simply click on save and once you click on save as you can see you'll find your expense here as I said, you'll be able to add it into any reports. As an example, if you have any reports here, you can simply be able to add it uh, into any expense. Or you can simply click on new report and you'll be able to add the expense uh, on it uh, or of it here. The expense that I uh, actually added, I already added to a report. So I will not be able to add it to multiple reports at the same time. So make sure to go and uh, add your things by your own. And of course, you'll be able uh, able able to even export uh, the report if you want after so you can do whatever you want with it of course uh, normally you'll be done here with the submitting the expenses of course you can even go and set any rules or policies for your expenses or reports for other people if you want to use it for the group people and of course make sure to subscribe to them so you can use unlimited uh, this unlimited feature of uh, scan recipients because as i said it's pretty useful because it will fill everything automatically for you while you are creating expenses then of course if you have any issues uh, you can simply go and contact the support as you can see you will have this concierge uh, you will be able to message them 24 7 and real-time support to answer more questions so if you have any questions or concerns you can always click here and go and you will be able and they will open expense this fight chat and you'll be able to ask them anything here of course you can even go to support again and you'll have this option of help site you can use our collection for reboot self servers help guides and best practices example and if you click on it as you can see that will take you kind of to the same chat but with other interface and here you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff as an example with this expense fight help so you can as you can see which uh, best uh, which best describe uh, how you do you use of course expensify so how uh, are you using it for sending money or requesting money or uh, playbooks or other so simply uh, if you have any issues or any concerns or any of those subjects you can simply click on it and you they will be able to help you with that and if we reach this point of this video of course you will normally know how to create or submit your expenses and create an expense report as an example and include the expense on the report and then of course you will be able to submit the expense report and everything so if you reach this point as i said from this video congratulations there you have it how you can submit your expenses on expensify in 2023 of course by following these steps you can streamline your expense management process and ensure accurate and timely or timely submissions of course if you have found this video helpful don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content also feel free to leave any questions or suggestions in the comment section below happy expense submitting with expensify thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video